that they have to prosecuting drug crimes, which is a drug court, which is based within the district or the other lower courts, depending on where you live, and I think that these drug courts probably, besides coming out of some of the other stuff they came out of, I think a lot of it had to do with the experience of Michael Santos, who was unnecessarily sentenced, let's see, he's 46 now, so he was 24 when he was sentenced, meaning he had been sentenced to 45 years, and originally he was scheduled to serve his sentence up to, this shows you how good a math I am, up to when he was 69, but now he's going to be getting out when he's 47 or 48, depending on when his birthday is. So, I think that with Michael Santos being unnecessarily sentenced, although he was a drug trafficker, I think that the people looked at it and said, look, a lot of these, you know, drug traffickers and all that, yeah, trafficking drugs is stupid, but a lot of these people, they just don't know what to do with their lives, and there's a whole bunch of long and complicated circumstances, so maybe instead of legalizing drugs, we just ought to do these drug court things more, and just hope that people don't take advantage of the drug courts and all that. And if nothing else besides legalizing drugs, I think that we ought to, and I'm saying drugs like, you know, because I'd done a previous video on it, but if we're not going to legalize drugs, at least we ought to utilize the drug courts more because some of the stuff is just completely ridiculous that we do and no wonder our criminal justice system is messed up and we allocate all these resources to people frankly <sighs> frankly some people in my own life who I'm sure that if the drug courts didn't help them the drug courts would have helped them and with some of those people I'm sure that the drug courts have already helped them I don't know the circumstance of every situation but I do know that we really need to start being less punitive and more reformatory in the criminal justice system and we need to we need to really for lack of a better term allow more community or vigilante justice because some of the stuff that's just going on is just gonna you know kill us eventually quite literally and figuratively and why are we clogging up the courts with all besides drug offenders, why are we clogging up the courts with all these sex offenders and these burglars and all that who, if we just allowed more community or vigilante justice, things would be taken care of. I even remember some of the cases, like one where a mother went after a sex offender who was molesting her child, and yet she was arrested for going after him. My question is, why, as I said, why can't we just have more to vigilante justice? I mean, as long as it's actually justice, and clog up the courts less, and let the government for the people be a government that is actually for the people and by the people.